Hello everyone, my name is Cheryl and I'm part of the global One for 50 movement. We desire to equip people like you to reach, disciple and empower the next generation. Psalm 78 verses four to seven says, we will not hide them from their descendants. We will tell the next generation the praiseworthy deeds of the Lord, his power and the wonders he has done. He decreed statutes for Jacob and established the law in Israel, which he commanded our ancestors to teach their children. So the next generation would know them, even the children yet to be born, and they in turn would tell their children. Then they would put their trust in God and would not forget his deeds, but would keep his commands. Building faith into the next generation is everyone's job. It's something for all of us to do the family and the church family. This yellow substance here represents the church. The church exists to shine a light into the darkness, a light that highlights God's goodness and reveals his son so that the world can understand and know him. The church helps our children to see who God really is and is a significant force in a child's spiritual growth. Raising and discipling children can be difficult, and many times parents feel like they're all alone, but they're not. The church is there to walk with parents and help them with this all-important role of passing along faith to the next generation. This red substance here represents the family, and the family is important because of its responsibility to love and to demonstrate the character of God through unconditional relationships. The red color represents the heart. We want our children to experience God's love and his character through significant relationships. And the family plays an important role then in the discipleship of children. Often we see the church doing their part to reach children, teaching them the truths of God and helping them grow as disciples. And parents do their part by praying and teaching their children at home about following God and modeling faith for their children. And both are good, but they're separate. What would happen if the family and the church would work together to see children grow in faith? Whoa, look at the impact when the two of them work together. When the church and the family are working together, the impact is multiplied many times over. The red and the yellow colors have blended to become orange, a new color that's formed by them working together. Churches in the same way can help families disciple children. They can have intergenerational worship services parenting seminars, they can have family service projects, family camps, just to name a few ideas. But when families and churches work together to pour into children, an overflow of love, truth, and joy flows from their lives into others. Let's continue to work together to disciple our children. Thanks for joining me. For more resources to help you reach, disciple, and empower your children, go to our website, www.1for50today.net.